cool dude Clem. And I too am cool dude Clem. Now you may be wondering why there's two of us here today. Well, other Clem, would you like to explain? Well, I'm not going to explain it, but... You can rest assured that this has something to do with the video that I'm going to present. Now, firstly on this presentation, I have not one, but two speakers to show you here. Now, I found these in a junked TV when I was just, you know, taking a walk. And the strange thing about these two speakers is, if I get one of them and turn it on its side, you can see it has two magnets. And if I bring it closer to the camera, you can see, you may be able to see that there are two voice coils. and two dust caps. I've never seen a speaker with this kind of configuration before. Obviously it's for uh, to keep it stable so it, you know, it doesn't... Um, that was obviously to keep it more stable. Yeah, I found these two out of a um, junked TV. And I've tested them, and they both seem to work really well. Now, I haven't got much camera battery left, so I'm just going to have to charge it and then do the rest of this presentation. Okay, it's a little later on now. I've got the camera charged, and uh, it's about 8, quarter past 8 in the evening now. Still light outside. And this is the next thing I'm going to present. This clock, which I've modified. Now, um... First modification I've made to it is that the um, fluorescent display is constantly lit. You may be able to see it glowing just a little bit. Now the snooze button, if you press that, that would light up the screen for a few seconds. But now, because the screen is actually lit right now, you may not be able to see that very well. But I've replaced the snooze button with a switch as you can see there. And if I flip the switch, you can see the screen is now glowing a lot brighter. And it will stay that bright for as long as I keep the switch on. Now I'll just turn the switch off again. Because the switch is wired to where the snooze button was. That should go back to normal brightness. Now this um, has two places for a power supply. There's um, batteries. This bit is where I used to put the batteries, and there's provisions for an external three volt power supply. Now I was going to try to power this just on the three volt power supply, but I found all that does is just makes the projector light, doesn't power the rest of the clock. So I Let's just take this apart now. So you can see the modification I've done. So this is the um, where the battery's connected. I'll get my hand out of the way, you might be able to see it. And over here, you can't really see it very well, but that's where the external 3 volt power supply was connected and what I did is just have the battery and the you know where the batteries go in and where the 3 volt power supply goes in connected to the same power supply so I could have the projector running and the clock powered off the same thing but I found out that doing that makes the screen light ever so slightly and um, also there is some light coming out from the projector too. Now let's take a little look inside the projector. Taking both the shells off you can see that there's a little red LED here which provides the, uh, the light and in this shell here, I'll hold it up to the camera. 
may be able to see a couple of lenses. I'm just trying to find the macro shot on this camera. That was the white balance. Okay, it's not going to show it, but never mind. So there's the uh, LED glowing very brightly in the camera. And I'll put the camera's light on so you can see a little better. This little, t this little black thing here, this little gl black glass thing, that's the display for the projector. Not very easy to see. Maybe you'll see the numbers on it. You may not. Now if I pull it out, you might be able to see it better. You can't really see it, but um, that is the little display for the projector. And one of the lenses has fallen out of the shell. Now that ringing noise you can hear is the oscillator for the fluorescent backlight. Now when I do this switch to make it brighter, the tone changes. Except it doesn't seem to want to do anything at all, but because I think the buttons are being pressed. There we go. Don't know if you can hear that that it changed. Now let's wait for it to go back to normal. There we go. Okay, now I'm just going to show you the. Um, strange noise it makes when you connect the power up it's not supposed to buzz like that but the way I've got the what I've done with the power makes it make that noise now sometimes it makes a noise like a funny video game That's not gonna, didn't do it that time Okay, I'll just um, try one more time. There we go. I'll just see if I can make, it, make that sound again. Sounds like an old video game, doesn't it? Like an Atari 2600 or something. Oh, screw it. Oh, well, um, I've got to get this back together now, so until next time, goodbye.